What's up guys? Welcome back to J. Rue Productions. Are you guys ready for another comic book haul? This is episode number 116. So I went to my half price books located in the Redmond area. Big shout out to the cashier that hooked me up. You know who you are? Alright, so this is the two pack again. Three dollar pack. I believe there are 30 comics in each. And I'm hoping there aren't any price stickers in any of them. So the three dollar pack. Look how thick this is. It's so hard to see what's in between. So I'm gonna have to open this up. We're gonna start out with that. How about that? All right, let's carefully cut the bag. Make sure I don't damage the comics. Looks like that location at least heeded my advice of not putting a price stickers on there, even though they do still have quite a couple of full cabinets of it. But this is definitely easier for the cashier and for the collectors alike. They don't have to put all the price stickers on there, wasting their time, and we don't have to waste our time removing it. That is what it's all about, guys. They get their money, and we get our comics. So wish you luck, guys. Hopefully there are some key issues in here. I can't make any promises, but we'll see how my luck is for this haul. Here we go. So we, here we go. Bart Simpson, Menace of Society, number five from Bongo Comics. Mobile Police Pet Labor. No idea what that is. Viz Select Comics. I'm not even sure if they're still around, guys. Kind of looks like a knockoff of Robotech. Here's another one, Mobile Police. Looks like issue number five. I'm pretty sure it's black and white. Yeah, it is, guys. And that looks like something from the early 90s. Number four. Oh, here's a pretty nice one. Bar Simpson's Son of Homer. Fabulous first issue collector's item. I didn't even know this one came out. We have another Bart Simpson, Nature Boy, number two. I know some of you guys are Bart Simpson or Simpsons fans. And I'll definitely be giving these out. Number three, you got number four, Juvenile Jokester. Oh, what the heck is this? That's weird. Warren Ellis, Strange Killings, Necromancer. Very creepy cover right there. I have to say so myself from Avatar Comics. Strange Killings. Issue number five. And here is um, issue number four. Nothing really heating up yet. Weapon X after Xavier the Age of Apocalypse. That looks like uh, Wolverine with one of his arm cut off like Rick Grimes in the the Walking Dead comics. Excalibur, number four with uh, Nightcrawler and Sabretooth. Another Age of Apocalypse storyline. Gambit and the Externals. I'm actually looking forward to a Gambit movie. Hopefully that will be in the um, next MCU installment. Another Gambit and Externals, it's issue number two. What the heck is this? Web man. Blazing Adventure. I've never seen this before, guys. This looks really freakish. From Argosy Comics. Pretty sure they don't not around anymore. Peter Cannon, Thunderbolt from Dynamite Comics. Pretty cool cover right there. Kind of looks like the Phoenix, right? Hitman, number 12, local hero from DC Comics. And it looks like Green Lantern. That's the uh, Rainer Lantern. XO Database, number one. That came with the uh, pack, I believe. Omega Man, the first fatality. Which Omega Man shall die from DC Comics? Issue number four. Another Omega Man, number eight. What? Well, I'm going to definitely be reading this, even though there might not be key issues, but I'll be reading these. Magneto and the Magnetic Man. Amalgam, this is when they combine, uh, I believe, is Image and... DC or Marvel, so they created their own line of comics back in the 90s. Robotech number zero. Whoa, when did this come out? Jack McKinney speaks interviews. This looks like a pretty nice issue right there. It's like a prequel to Robotech, huh? Cerebrus going home number 11, or maybe 242. Another Cerebrus, mothers and daughters. Swamp Thing number 
Oh, by the way, yeah, DC is, um, they have a Swamp Thing series. I have yet to check that out. Baby Teeth comic vest. That might be the first appearance of Baby Teeth since um, it's one of these free comics. America Town. Pretty cool cover right there from Arkea. Oh, we have a 90s gimmick cover, guys. Shadowhawk number, part two, number one. The special um, die cut metallic cover. Brigade number four from Image Comics. Oh, snap. What is this? Guys, what is this? This is really thick. Avengers, the Ultron Imperative. Wow. We have Barry Windsor Smith art. This is very... I've never even seen this one come out. Wow, wow, wow. 2001, guys. November. Man, before 9-11. Weapon Zero, Marvel Comics. This is one of these crossovers between Top Cow, or Image, and uh, Marvel. Weapon Zero and Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer, my favorite hero. Real awesome art by... Silvestri or is that tan? Maybe it's yeah, Silvestri. Warcat metallic cover right there. Bullets and bracelets. DC Nation number zero. Um steel number zero. Alright. The search for Ray Palmer, countdown one, Wildstorm uh, fifty. This is uh, the question and you're number one. Doom Patrol, 65. Check out the series, guys. It's really awesome. You got nice stalker, nice stalkers, Midnight nice Suns, number one, still bagging, boarded, and a special collector's item. Here's one for Morbius, the living vampire. Uh, Blue Beetle, number seven, from Infinite Crisis Storyline. Power Pack number 50, a uh, double size issue. Snark Attack. Badger number 34 from First Comics. Badger is kind of like a weak version of Wolfrey without the claws. That's all I can explain. And Justice League America number 37. Oh, the snap. There goes the price tickets right there. Oh, who's, hold on. Let me make sure there's none on the back. Justice League America number 37 with Booster Gold. That's it for the first pack. Hope I have better luck on the second one. Here we go, guys. Wish me luck. Just League Europe number 21. Back then when this was Justice League Europe series, they were trying to incorporate a lot of comedy into the storyline. And I don't think that really worked because this never really took off. Outsiders number four. That's from the Batman and Outsiders series. They split and got their own limited series, I guess. Number six. And that's the... Uh, Katana, that's the old Katana. Just the Europe number six. Back to school. Here's number seven. Doom 2099, number 11. Here's number six. Looks like they're fighting the uh, 2099 version of Fantastic Four. There you see Hulk is there, who replaced the thing. The Punisher and Night Stalker is number six. Night Stalkers number 12, Electrifying First Anniversary Issue. Night Stalkers number 13. Doom 2099 number 4, The New King Tiger Wild. Here's issue number 9. Monster Menace number 3. Speaking of truth, uh, I've never seen this come out, but the, right off the bat, I noticed the art is like Steve Ditko art. Because it looks like Speed Ball. Badger, unfortunately, got the price ticket right there. In this camo suit. Psylords. Number two, Ring of the Star Watchers. I never knew Valiant came out with this series. No one skips Fury from Image Comics. One of these, uh, Tribute to the old style comics, the Silver Age or whatever, Bronze Age, whatever you call it. Sludge number four from Malibu Comics. Cops number three. Starman number 13. Fighting Rampage. Mop Fire from DC Vertigo, the Mature Series line. See, oh, it's Warren, please. I thought it was Warren Ellis. Mop Fire, another one. 
Doom 2099, number 20. And uh, here's number 12. What's up with all these Doom 2099? Justice League International Special featuring Mr. Miracle 1990 World Tour. Indiana Jones, a young Indiana Jones Chronicles from uh, Dark Horse Comics. This is issue number 2. Shade the Changing Man number 16. Got some of these 90s image comics. Blood Strike Assassin. Here's another one, issue number one. It's not Rob Liefeld art, but people are all trying to copy him. As you can tell by uh, his success, I guess. A lack of, maybe. <laughs> Just think of Europe, Lobo versus the Sparrow. By the way, Lobo is in the new uh, Krypton series. I might even check that out. That's supposed to be in season two. The Boris Adventure magazine number three. Boris the Bear. Boris magazine. Oh, at first I thought it was kind of like a dope. I guess it's not. Otherwise, it would say on the cover. Dark Heart number two. Guest starring uh, Spider-Man fighting against Hobgoblin. Ixo Man of War number 18. Ultraverse, the Freaks, number six, featuring Nightman. Mystery Incorporated, book one, from Image Comics. Just League of Europe, that's another one of the doubles. Uh, Legion of Superheroes, number 26. Sword of the Atom, number three, special. And what the heck is this? The Buzz... Spider Girl presents the Buzz. Who the heck is the Buzz? Superhero or Super Menace? Can't say I know anything about him or her. Warlock and Infinity Watch number 40. Uh, here's one from uh, Marvel Frontier Comics, another uh, branch, UK. I believe there's dances with the demons with the metallic cover on the front. Ultimate Mystery Issue number 3. Got Fantastic Four, Sandoval Arts, X Factor Book Four, Xavier School, Alpha Flight number fifty five, Doom twenty ninety nine number seven, and the last of, from the second pack, Night Stalkers number three, Nobody Crosses Blade. Unfortunately, I, yeah, no really key issues, guys. All right, and then I searched through some of their uh, other comics, you know, the regular price ones. And I found some nice ones that would be good in my collection. Green Arrow, this is issue number one. Might grow Green Arrow from the 90s, or maybe it was even the late 80s. Bloodshot, first cameo of uh, Ninjak, I believe. This is issue number six. And here's the first full appearance, I believe, of Ninjak's. By the way, uh, check out the um, Ninja vs. Valiant Universe. You can even watch it on YouTube. Somebody uploaded the host. I believe it's a series, yeah. Valiant comic, instead of making a uh, movie, they decided to upload it on the YouTube. So check that out. G.I. Joe and Transformers starring Snake Eyes, issue number 42. These higher issue G.I. Joe is very hard to come by, very hard to find, especially uh, with the team up of G.I. Joe and Transformers. These will do great in anybody's collection if you're a fan of both. Here's the new 52 to Flash number one. This is the Ivan Reyes cover. So it's a variant cover. The other one is a little bit more boring. But this one is very unique indeed. New Mutants number 99. Rob Liefeld art. There you see Cable, Domino. Why, this features the very first appearance of Shatterstar, you know, the dude with the two swords, fights like crazy, and Pharaoh. Pharaoh is the, uh, like, the wolf creature, the female one, that has power similar to, uh, kind of like Wolverine, I guess. So this one is definitely a key issue right there, featuring two first appearance, and also Rob Liefeld art. I finally have this, guys. Oh, you don't know what this is? 
Ultimate Fantastic Four 21. What's so special about it? Let me show you. In the very back, near the end of the story, which I have yet to read, it features the first appearance of... You know something yet? Very first appearance of... Marvel Zombies. That's right, baby. <laughs> Can't believe I've actually found it. Finally. Bag and bar that. They don't sit pretty in my key issue collection. And to finish this whole out, what's going on with value? Hopefully by now you guys have watched Avengers Endgame. Maybe more than once. Who is this on the cover, guys? Young Avengers presents Hawkeye. Hmm, who's playing a new Hawkeye? Why, this is the very first full appearance, not the first cameo, the full appearance of Kate Bishop as Hawkeye that would shop in value like uh, five, four or five times from uh, $4. So this one, be on the lookout for that. You can find it. And also look out for Young Avengers number one featuring the first uh, short appearance of Kate Bishop. Hope you guys enjoyed this combo haul. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Next, as always... Happy collecting.